Hello and welcome. This week I am going to be doing a knit along with me and um, see how much I knit in a week. Um, so I'm going to capture footage throughout the week and that'll be the video I'm uploading on Sunday hopefully. I did my um, podcast yesterday and um, well that was Sunday and so I'll be doing this from when I uh, finished recording my podcast yesterday I'm counting that up until I upload this video next Sunday so you'll get to see pretty much a full week of how much I managed to knit uh, it's looking like I've got a quieter week work-wise so um, hopefully I'll have uh, plenty to show you um, I'm just gonna show you what was working on yesterday so while I was editing uh, the video yesterday's podcast um, I was working on my Paul sweater and I don't know if I can pull it through because I have my cones behind the table here but um, as you can see in the podcast I did move my uh, stitch marker and so I have done one two three about five rows on the ribbon I'll just measure it actually if I can reach my tape measure. So this ribbon needs to be uh, 15 centimetres before I can bind off. And it looks like I'm just over the uh, 10 centimetre. So I'm two thirds of the way through on that. Look at it as well. <laughs> Massive. So maybe I'll get that done this week. Um, I will keep chipping away on it a bit each day. And the main thing that I ended up working on last night, I know I mentioned in my podcast that it was going to be my salty days, but um, I think I was a bit tired really when it came to it in the evening. So I decided to work on uh, my Daft Days cardigan, which is in my wonderful um, Craft House Magic project bag which is huge I have a lot of the yarn in the bottom as well so as I said in my podcast I'm working on the uh, back panel and I think I did three stripes last night so I did well three of the coloured stripes and obviously the dark ones in between so you can see that no progress keeper in this one um, I am off out today for a uh, knit and chat with my friend uh, Mona so um, hopefully I'll be able to take a few pictures there and show you because um, I'll be taking this with me probably because it's it is quite big but it's quite a mindless knit I don't need to look at the pattern or anything and I know what I'm roughly what I need to get up to uh, before I do the next bit in the pattern so I'll probably take that with me today. Well, that's all for now, and um, I'll catch up with you later this evening, um, and let you or tomorrow morning, and let you know what I've managed to get through. Hope you're having a good day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you're never supposed to catch me in the words, you know. Do what I want. I'm the director here. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>
it's Tuesday morning and I thought I'd come on and do a little update um, for what I knit last night. Um, the main thing that I ended up knitting on was my Daft Days cardigan. Oh, sorry, it's really hard to, to hold up and show you at the moment. Um, but I'm making really good progress. I'll show you the back panel. Um, Binny, why are you always in every video? Sorry, the dog again. <laughs> Licking. So, I... Oh yeah, you can see better if I show you this side. I've just started... Oh, my hair's knitted into it there. Um, I've just started shaping for the back and neck on my Daft Days cardigan. So this is Phil Kalana Peruvian Highland Wool for the dark grey and the minis that I'm using for the stripes are For the Love of Yarn which I got in my advent this year. I've just got to the point now where I am reusing some of the stripes again because I did, um, I kept 21 of the 24 colours, reordered them for this cardigan and I'm just having to, to reuse some now in, in the back here. But yeah, so I've um, I'm making good progress here and hopefully um, I'll get this section done today although I would like today to do the next stage in my salty days but I'm not sure whether that will happen I've got uh, my youngest son is off school ill today so who knows how much I'll get done but I'm not working um, okay that's the progress on that one and um, also what I'd like to get done today, and I'll just show you a few of these, is uh, get some of these minis wound up. These are from my Soul Yarn for the Soul advent from last year. This one um, I am going to make into a shawl, which hopefully I can take away on um, holiday with me. But I need to wind up some of these. Uh, minis ready. It's the brioche adventure shawl. It's um, I've never done brioche before so that'll be a first for me. Um, it's a little bit daunting because I was reading the pattern yesterday and you do... I'm not sure what the construction is like because I've not really knit many shawls either so um, it's all going to be a big learning curve but I just thought I could take it on holiday and when we uh, visit any places that re are religious. I can use it to cover my shoulders um, and I thought that's a great use of, of, of the advent to make it into a, a wearable garment. Okay, I'm going to get on with the day now. See you later. Bye. Hello and good morning. It's super early but it's Wednesday. I'm just having my morning cup of tea and I just thought I'd come on and do a quick little update because um, I didn't do much filming or any filming sorry last night um, oh and some exciting news I have just applied for a test knit so fingers crossed because it's one I've already bought the yarn for and I'm really hoping that I get picked but who knows I've only done one test knit before so I don't know but um, I'll just move the camera around and I'll um, show you what I've done yesterday. I just literally worked on my salty days. Um, I got the two front panels done and I joined them together at the bottom and I'm almost, I'm about 10 rows away from um, joining in the round. It's knitting up so quickly. Five millimeter needles um, and yeah I'm just flying through it so it's very Moorish. Okay I'll just um, turn you around now. Okay, so here's the progress on the salty days. I did um, both these top panels. If you can see, I picked up stitches along here. So I did that one and that one, and I think that's what I did yesterday anyway. And then I've joined them together, and so I've got the neck done. And then I've started on the pattern here. So I just need to finish these diamonds and do another I think and then I'll be joining in the round and look who's in the background 
fast asleep. Hopefully I'll be able to film again later but um, I'm not sure I'm going to get so much knitting done today because um, I'm a bit more busier with work. So have a good day. Bye.
hello it's thursday it's um thursday afternoon and i'm just um coming on to give a bit of an update um so i've not had much time uh, to do knitting yet today but hopefully this evening i will um i've been busy working and i was also um editing part of this video in between clients um so i have done a couple of rows on my Paul sweater and um, I'll show you my progress from last night from my um, Daft Days sweater. Um, I'll just turn the camera around and then I'll be able to show you. Okay so here is my Paul sweater. I think I've only managed to do one row on that um, since you last saw it. Um, that was just today while I was editing and let's move that to the side and then this let me just lay it out sorry it's so funny how the colour shows up for this sweater on camera it's really weird and it's grey outside so maybe that's something to do with it As you can see, I have just started on a cable section here. I think there's, I'm halfway through that section. It's really starting to come together now. I have just about joined in the round. Oh, I think that's better representation of the colour, maybe. I don't know. Sorry if you can hear me sniffling my... Um, hay fever has started so um, I can't remember where I was up to yesterday with this one but I'm sure I joined it in the round and did these cabling sections last night Hello and good morning. It is Friday morning, uh, just before lunch. Um, I've done all my errands for the day, so I've just sat down now with a brew and I'm going to start some knitting. Um, I think I am going to get back on with my salty days this morning. Um, I wanted to give you an update on last night as well. 
Um, I ended up working on my daft days and I'm really really pleased with the progress I made on that and I've ended up finishing the neck shaping and joining the two shoulders together so there's just the sleeves and the button band left to do now. Um, anyways I'll switch the camera around now and then I can show you properly what I've done. And here it is. So. Um, Last night I managed to get the back neck shaping finished on both sides and then I did the um, joining at the top. So now it just needs the two sleeves and the uh, button band. So I'm really really pleased with how it's looking and it'll be exciting to get it finished. Who knows when that'll be though. Well, I've just had happy mail, so I thought, I know that I'm doing uh, what I knit in a week and this has nothing to do with how much I've knit, but I thought you'd all appreciate seeing all this yarny goodness. So um, I'll pop the link to the uh, wool swap that I'm currently uh, part of uh, in the description so that if you want to have a look at the ins and outs of what that entails uh, and joining you can do um, it's organized by an Australian lady um, okay so I'll just um, lift these up so you can see them a bit better most of these yarns are half for socks showing you the pretty colors that looks like it's going to be a pattern which is pretty cool. Look at these purples. Aren't they pretty? And this yarn is like the so super soft. And it is a lovely, lovely beigey colour really really nice 10% cashmere that's why it feels so soft and this is an absolutely stunning yarn not one I think I've ever used before or seen before but I may be mistaken <laughs> I think this is the one that I'll cast on next for some socks, beautiful. I need some um, easy sock knitting for when I'm out and about anyway. And Hello, it's Saturday and um, I'm just doing a bit of an update. It's Saturday afternoon. We've, um, sorry if the lighting's not great, but it's a bit smoky in here because I've just made pancakes with fruit and yogurt for lunch, which was delish. Um, so, Last night I made quite a bit of progress on my salty days, which I'm going to try and show you now. Oh, needles wrapped around. So, this is the front. Last night, I hope you can see that, I finished the um, cable section, which is here. Um, and I did this eyelet section. And this morning, unfortunately, I've come up with some snags and um, I have had to tink back quite a bit on um, the section I'm doing here. And sorry, my partner came in then and it just threw me right off. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, for some reason, um, I'm having some problems with this uh, chart in the pattern um, I've done. So I did about five, six rows of it and then I realised that I was totally off on the pattern. So I tinked right back to the beginning of this um, section, um, counted my stitches. I've got the right number of stitches so it must be something I'm doing wrong in this chart. Um, anyways, the I've checked my stitches, uh, I'm being meticulous now, checking my stitches after each um, after each uh, pattern row so I can check um, that I'm still, you know, where I should be. It's really hard with this yarn as well, you can't always see 
um, if the pattern is going right until you've done quite a bit of it. Um, but like I say, this is the this is the first lace work pattern I've done, and um, I'm sure it's something I'm just doing because the pattern does seem very very easy to follow and everything. Um, so I'm going to try again now with the uh, fourth row on this chart. Hopefully, I'll make some good progress on this today. It's looking good so far, and I'm pretty pleased with the uh, with the cable sections. I'm going to crack on with that this afternoon, and I'm uh, while I'm uh, doing my roast for tea. Hope you're having a good uh, weekend, whatever you're doing, and um, I'll catch up with you later. Bye.
as you can see I've had to tink back yet again to the beginning of this pattern section I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong but I must be doing something obvious um, and I must admit it's getting a little frustrating but I'm going to um, go and start my tea really really <laughs> hope that this time this clip works because I have tried to record it several times and keep getting either out of shot or interrupted <laughs> Anyways, it's still Saturday um, and I'm still trying to resolve my issue with the uh, salty days but I think I've come up with a little hack and I've done um, four of the rows now of the repeat and it seems to be working. I'll try and show you. I hope you can see um, it's an eight stitch pattern repeat and I've put little... Um, stitch markers in um, let me just show you again sorry in between each section so that hopefully this will mean there's no way I can make any errors miscount or get confused of where I am in the pattern um, I don't know what it is with this section C because every other bit of this pattern for me has been super easy and it's just this one that's gone wrong maybe it's just that it's the weekend and I've got a lot more distractions at home who knows but anyways fingers crossed that's it now if I can get to the end of this section by the end of tonight I'll be really pleased wish me luck morning everyone happy mother's day hope you're having a wonderful morning so far um, I've just come on to do a quick roundup of my uh, what I knit in a week vlog um, so I'll put some photos up here um, so you can see the main garment three garments that I worked on this week was my Paul sweater my salty days and my daft days um, I'm really happy with what I've got done um, and I hope you've enjoyed watching along and knitting while you've watched the video. Um, I didn't quite get the Salty Days uh, Section C finished last night, but I've got past the point where I was struggling and I've only got, uh, I think, three rows to do and it will be finished. That'll be done today, which is great news after all the problems I had yesterday. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.